Hello everyone, welcome to another Remnant 2 video. In today's video, we're talking about Mydra and all of the items you can get from her. You can find Mydra on the Yaisha Overworld. I found her inside of the Faithless Thicket, but I believe she can spawn in other areas as well. But the tree is pretty hard to miss, so once you see it, I do believe you'll know you have found her. Um, if you don't see it, you haven't found her. It's just kind of as simple as that. Um, once you go up to her, she's got a lot to say, and you're going to have like some introduction dialogue, and then she's going to want to play essentially a game where she's going to ask you questions. These questions can be difficult, um, and essentially there's two different outcomes to how you answer. If you answer the good way, the way of the dough, you get one reward, and if you answer another way, the way of the Ravager, you get another reward. So today, I'm going to show you my playthrough and my answers on how I achieved both, acquiring both traits and uh, the Sorrow sidearm from her. I want to preface this video with these questions I'm going to show you are ones of many just remember that the questions, the answers to the questions, they need to be like, are you doing the right thing? And if so, that means you're gonna get the dough reward. And if you're doing the wrong thing or the greedy thing, you're gonna get the ravager reward. Just keep that in mind whenever you answer. There is a little bit of leeway in case you get some wrong, as you'll see in the gameplay. Without further ado, let's get right into these questions. You can see the first one on screen now. Okay, so you can see I chose trust the dough. Obviously, that one's pretty straightforward. You're trusting, right? So that is the way of the dough. Now you can see she goes on to ask me more questions. The Theon is dead, and uh, you risk the loss of all your power, etc. Right? I'm letting this whole thing play out so you can see my answers straight up. So you can kind of get a gist of what. Do you tell your people the truth, or do you try to find another way? The answers are hide it or my followers. Obviously, you don't want to hide it. That's the way of the Ravager, so we select the other ones. If we move forward, enemies of the accused have kidnapped your child and hold her hostage, saying that if you convict the accused, they will set your daughter free. This one's a tough one. Um, so do you either convict the innocent person or do you free the innocent person? Right? It's a tough one, but you must select the way of the dough in order to get this so you free the innocent and risk your daughter's life moving on we get to the next question here daughter has been killed the murderer is arrested and after many years they are sentenced to death right before the sentence carry out they come to you and explain that they are truly sorry and they ask for your forgiveness and essentially she's going to ask us what do we want to do um nothing you say will change their sentence nor bring back your daughter do you forgive them or do you not? You're going to forgive them. This is, again, the nice thing to do. It's the way of the dough. We're going to get another question here. Your matriarch calls for a battle of champions to bring a final end to the bloodshed, and you are chosen to fight. Your opponent is the eldest but weakest son of your enemy. He offers you no threat, you and you easily best him. But you must slay him to end the war. Again, this is a tough one. Do you kill him or do you spare him? All right? We're going to choose to spare him again. You're doing the right thing, the nice thing. I'm saying that with quotations, right? That's the way of the dough. Answering all of these, you're saying, may the power of the dough is I free you from your incarnate shackles. This will get you the dough reward, which is the bark skin trait, as you see on screen now. The bark skin trait, as we're going to bring it up here on screen now, is really, really good. I went for this one first. It reduces all incoming damage when maxed out by 10%. Um, definitely don't sleep on that one. I use it pretty much in all of my builds now. Now, if you've done this once and you want to get the other trait that's available and select either, you know, go back. If you did the dough first, you want to get the Ravager now, like now we did, or vice versa. You have to re-roll and come back to her. You can't interact and answer more questions in another way. So you have to re-roll, find her again, and come back. Now, if we answer again with everything in like a bad way, that is the way of the Ravager. 
and we will get a completely different trait and reward, which is the bloodstream trait. So we're gonna do that here now again, so you can see my answers, so you can kind of get a gist of which ones you're gonna um, answer. Um, you know, always wanna try it out, have, you know, play this little game with her. It's, again, there's a lot of different questions. The ones I have, you might see them, you might not. So the first one's coming up here now on screen. Um, do we give immortality to those who deserve it? Um, or do we limit the immortality? Which one do we do? This one, I think, to me, it always progressed in difficulty. So do we control the gift um, or do we share the gift? We're going to control it, which is pretty straightforward. Um, controlling it is not a very good thing, right? Sharing it and being prosperous and all that kind of stuff with everybody, that's what you want to do. So moving on to the next one. Um, you unknowingly, you set up camp. You know, the clan requires you to leave your eldest with them for two years. Uh, we're going to keep going. No harm would come to them, but you have no contact during that time. If you agree, you and the rest of your kin may leave freely. If you refuse, your family must face a trial by combat. Again, this one's hard. This one's a difficult. Do you leave your eldest to the unknown or risk death in battle? This one, again, they get a little hard, but you're going to leave your eldest behind. That's the, the, the bad decision, saying that with quotations again. So a handsome and powerful god visits Yaisha with a promise to eradicate conflict and disease and all suffering. In return, he demands a sacrifice the life of a single young Pan. Do you give him what he asks? Do you sacrifice or do you refuse? Here, it's pretty straightforward. Again, sacrifice the young Pan. It's not every day a question determines the course of your destiny. You are a ruler of your people, but a small group of rebels have taken arms against you. You could seek out a mutual solution, but doing so prolongs the conflict and may bear f no fruit at all. Or you could wipe them out and end the conflict immediately. Do, the, do you treat the rebels or do you preserve the peace? So I select preserve the peace by any means necessary. And I don't think that was the correct one here. Um, which you can see by she's very outlandish right now. So um, I don't think that was the correct. Yeah, I think that was a doe answer, but I could be wrong. But that's the one I chose. So this one, you're going to choose to rule the underworld and never return to living. Um, do you serve above or rule below? You obviously rule below here for the, the Ravager outcome. So well done. You've chosen our path. And she's going to tell us that the fire of the Ravager's eye glows within us. And then we will get the bloodstream trait as you see on screen now. If we take a look at the bloodstream trait, um, this one increases great health regeneration by uh, three seconds at level 10. So again, good for health regen builds or a healer build, etc. So those something definitely something to consider. The final item we can get from her is the Sorrow Crossbow. Uh, it's a handgun, but you first must have encountered, I'm gonna probably butcher this, but Keula's Kaeula, Shadow in the Keula's Rest Dungeon. And you must have defeated her in order to acquire her ring. So you see us defeating her now. You also get another material dropping from her as well for a nice um, mod and, or yeah, mod. So if we look at the ring, just so you know, you will lose the ring. You'll have to come back and get it if you do want the Sorrow crossbow. So if we take a look at the ring now, just so you can make your you know informed decision, it increases relic capacity by two while equipped. Not a bad ring. Um, again, good for probably a healer build or something. But if you come back while you're here, and you can do this whether you're answered as a doe or answered as the ravager you can do it either way but while you're here if you pro after you answer her questions if you progress her dialogue you'll find eventually that you can essentially tell her about the ring you can tell her you found it you can tell her it killed it doesn't really matter your answers at this point it will progress her dialogue but eventually what you would want to do is 
give her the ring. So if we go through her dialogue as you're seeing on screen, you know, you can apologize, right? The monster tried to kill me first. You can answer these however you like. I mixed and matched it depending on like what was the nice or what was the bad way just to make sure that it didn't um, affect the outcome. And it didn't seem to. So she tells you that she was affected by the root and it consumed her and, you know, she will she will if you tell her you killed her she'd be like it's okay she's affected by the root and that's okay but then you want to when you get this option no this bring ring belongs to you give the tier of kalula ring to her and this will award you with after some dialogue will award you with this sorrow crossbow so we're just going to progress this dialogue real quick and then you'll see it here on screen momentarily so there it is now you can see it drops for you she wants to reward you for giving her the ring but if we take a look at this thing it's a uh, mod trait is uology it recalls bolts which deal 30 damage when pulled from a target and when striking targets on the return recalled bolts grant 2.06 percent of max health recalled bolts can also overfill sorrow by up to five additional bolts will be returned to reserves and it's got a pretty low mod power requirement at 600. So if we take this to the firing range um, and we bring it out, you can see it starts with five in the, I'm going to say, magazine. Um, and then we can fire it. It loads up the mod after about two um, sessions. And then if we pull them back, it overloads the, again, I'm going to say magazine, but with 10 rounds. So I know it's a crossbow and they don't really have magazines, but... Hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say. But there you have it, everybody. That's the video. That's all of the um, outcomes and loot you can get from Mydra in the Yeshua Overworld. If this video helped you, please consider dropping a like and subscribing for more content from myself. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.